Hi guys, in this short video I'm going to go over how to download the limited text data off the web and then import it into a QGIS project. So to start out with, let's go and download the earthquakes data from the USGS. So I'm going to go and download the spreadsheet format data and I'm going to download all earthquakes from the past day. So here we are with the downloaded file. It's a Microsoft comma separated value or CSV file and if we open it up it's always a good idea to open up any file that you download to make sure that it's in the right format we can see that we have field headers including the time the latitude the longitude the depth the magnitude etc these are the two fields that are really key for our purposes the latitude and longitude so we're back over here in QGIS and to import the delimited text layer we're going to go to the layer menu and select add layer, add delimited text layer. So we navigate to our file. So we can see here in this dialog box that QGIS is recognizing our field headers of time, latitude, longitude, depth, etc and that our X field is accurately identified as longitude and our Y field is accurately identified as latitude. Sometimes the program does not accurately identify these and you have to switch them. Also notice that the projection is accurately identified as WGS84. This is a geographic or unprojected latitude and longitude. So I'm going to add this to our map. And we can see that in the dark red dots, we have all of our earthquakes from the last 24 hours. Now, this is great, but we can't actually do a lot with this because it is in unprojected latitude and longitude. And we can check this and noting the EPSG of this. So what we need to do here is we need to reproject this into a shapefile that is projected data. So I'm going to right click on this layer and say export save feature as. I'm going to save it as this Esri shape file and I'm going to put it into my data folder. Now here's the important thing. I need to change the coordinate reference system from unprojected WGS84 into the WGS84 pseudo Mercator, which is the projected WGS84 that the rest of the project is in. This way I will be able to work with this data as uh, projected data and buffer it and do other things with it. So I say OK. So now we have the new layer. I can turn off the original layer and there you go.